other big stories out of game four, though, that we have to touch on is uh, once again, Jose Abreu was hit by a pitch and there's a intentionally. Yep. Yeah, there's some, there's some layers to this. Um, I think this is what's the fascinating thing about baseball and specifically hit by pitch and the eternal debate. Was it intentional or unintentional? And we'll never know uh, because no one will ever admit to it, especially a team going well, no in. One, yeah. Going into a, another round of the playoffs, they're not going to admit that they hit someone on purpose for fear of suspensions or whatever. Yes, else. and fine, just fines alone. Like, why would yes. you lose five thousand dollars by saying I meant to hit him? When you could just say, I don't know. Yeah, you know, it's does, does it make any sense to hit him at that point? But Tony Larusa, the ever crusader for honesty, integrity, and character. <laughs> Well, demanded, well, demanded the truth out of the Astros and Dusty Baker and questioned their character and everything else for not admitting that they had hit him on purpose. And I don't even I don't I don't know. It well, probably here, was here's actually. The, but. Yeah, here's the deal. And this goes back to the Otani situation. Mm -hmm. The umpires made the judgment that we hit Otani on purpose because all the pitches were inside. Same thing happened. To and the Abreu. same thing happened to Abreu where yep. Graveman was like, he missed his head like twice. So, you know, that's bad. It, it is bad. Yeah. And it, I, look, I it, it. Lo it looked bad. I didn't feel like Abreu was even all that upset. I've seen Abreu upset. He just got upset th two weeks ago against the Tigers and lost his fucking mind at second base. And he didn't look anything like that in this. No. So, I'm, which I'm confused by because I feel like this is far more intentional than what the Tigers did. So, Maybe there's there's might be more layers to that that we'll be learning in coming years, hopefully, as our rivalry kicks off again in 2022. But so I just my I guess my my main thought with La Russa, I'm not sure in Abreu, I think they're probably right, but La Russa just looked like a child by the end of it. He it's like you're he lost perspective on what they're out there for his, but I, his I whole goal he, in life was to get them to admit that they threw at him instead of trying to win the game. Well, like no, was, I think that's what he was doing though. I think he was trying to get the pitcher like, like he was delaying the game to try he to delay the game for a yes, long time. Long, was, way too, it was that's where we got into the bean up. discussion. I think, yeah, <laughs> I mean, I mean, it was, he did that was, against the tigers and AJ yeah. Hinch got pissed. Like how much I mean, time he was taking. But I, I think he really was, you know, whether you liked it or not, it was his way of, he was trying to swing yeah. some momentum back into the Sox I get dugout. It. it just looked, I thought it looked, I, it is a strategy. It looked childish and it looked like sour grapes. He was just angry that they lost and found something to, to latch onto and just wouldn't let go. And just, that was his whole post game conference. He barely talked about, you know, he's proud of his team and what a, what a great effort they gave all season came up short. All he could talk about is he won. He demanded, demanded the truth, uh, questioned the character. It was just, it, it, it looked childish for a 77 year old man, but I, again, he, he has a point, but it just seems like there's a time and a place where you can, you can do those things. And that was not the time or the place. So, um, it, I, again, I thought it was strange that Abreu was not nearly, or maybe I missed it. Maybe he was really pissed off. No, he was over there talking it. with, uh, yeah. Guriel, like, yeah. nothing, like, you're like, so it's all good. He probably was saying, like, I know Tony really likes me, but come on now. Let's just get this over with. 